it's Betsy from Cutting Corners Vinyl in Nederland, Texas, and today is our Patreon kit tutorial. Now, if you're not familiar with what this is, if you're a $4 or more a month patron, you automatically get access to all the SVGs on our Patreon page. And then if you're a $45 or more a month Patreon supporter, you also get the supplies that you need to do those use for that SVG kit. Now, one thing about it is I'm still stumbling over my words a little bit, so I'm sorry. If it gets confusing, let me know down in the comments and I will try to answer any questions. Now, since I was so sick in August and September, we still sent out like sublimation papers and vinyls, but we did not do a full tutorial and kit because I was so sick. So for this month, we are doing three SVGs. I'm only going to do the tutorial over one, but the amount of vinyl that you get in the kit, you can actually make all three projects. You're just only gonna get one t-shirt. So for your t-shirt, you're going to get a black Tultex V-neck in unisex sizing. I am using a black Bella and Canvas crew neck because my V-necks will be in tomorrow and I wanted to go ahead and film this so it wasn't too late. Next, you're gonna need your vinyl, which we're using the specialty materials, Glitter Flex Ultra, Rainbow Green, Purple, and Glow in the Dark. You're also gonna need your Teflon sheet, your t-shirt guide, my pick rolled away, your Easy Weedon wooden pick, and your heat press. Now, I am using a 15 inch t-shirt guide because I have a 15 inch press. You order for the size of your press. I am using the Tussie 15 by 15 heat press and it will be preheated to 330 degrees and we will heat these for 15 seconds. Now if you'll give me a moment, I'll show you how to put the shirt together. So as you can see, we are on my Patreon page, which is www.patreon.com backslash Betsy Gocher. And we are scrolling down to the October SVG. Now remember, whenever it's an October SVG or a monthly SVG, unless it says so, these are also available to use. You can use these for commercial use. Now, as you can see, there are three different choices of SVGs, Tootsie Roll, So I Creep, and Pretty Wicked. So the one I'm going to use today is the Pretty, Pretty Wicked SVG. I'm going to click on the red link and click Save. Now I'm going to go down here to Cricut Design Space, go to New Project. We're gonna click maybe later for downloading the beta. I'm going to go to Upload Image, Upload, Browse. Now I'm going to scroll up to my Downloads. There we go. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and select the Pretty Wicked file. I'm going to select Open. And we're going to click Save. Isn't that super cute for Halloween? Okay, now I'm going to click Insert Image. There we go. Now the first thing I want to go ahead and do is I want to go ahead and ungroup this design and I'm going to delete the black back rail. Okay, now I'm going to take the purple layer and I'm going ahead and clicking Weld. And then what I'm going to do with the stars is I'm going ahead and I'm going to ungroup them. Hold on. Let's move that out of the way or let's make where we can't see that. There we go. Now we can select our stars. Now we're going to ungroup our stars and I'm going to select these three. I want to group the groups together so it's easier to line up, but I don't want to weld all the stars together because if I did that, I would be wasting a whole lot of material. And glow in the dark, y'all, is expensive, so I like to use it sparingly. There we go. And now we're going to select those, weld, and then these three. 
Okay, dokie. So now, as you can see, we have four groups of stars, one purple group, and one green group. Now, we're going to go ahead and click on Make It. We want to go ahead and make sure to mirror all of our design. There we go. And we're going to click Continue. Now, because I am using the glow in the dark and the glow in the dark is a bit thicker, I will be using the glitter iron on setting for all three. Now, if you give me a moment, I'll go ahead and show you how to put this shirt together. So I changed the camera angle, so you're going to have to tell me if you like this better. So I'm taking my t-shirt and I'm going to lay it on my heat press. There we go. where the collar is just off of the edge and then my shoulder side seams are as well. Smooth it out. There we go. We're going to take our t-shirt guide and lay it right at the top. Now I'm going to take the word wicked because it is the biggest piece of this and I'm folding it in half with the sticky side out towards me. There we go. Let's see how the word pretty is gonna lay out. Okay, so that's good. So I have my purple piece down. Now I'm going to cover with the Teflon sheet. And I'm doing this from the side so it might seem like a little bit of a struggle. Let's turn our Teflon sheet the other way. There we go. So much easier to do that when you're standing in front of it. So because we are doing multicolor, we don't want to heat it for the full 15 seconds. We're going to heat it for about five to seven seconds. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and remove that clear sticky layer. And we're going to take our word pretty. And lay it out. There we go. And we are going to go ahead and take some of our stars. And place them on this shirt as well because we can stick more than one thing at a time. Because those go there. Yes. And then we'll stick the rest of our stars all in one piece. Okay. Now again. We're not going to heat it for the full time. About five to seven seconds. There we go. Now we're going to take and place the rest of our stars. And this doesn't have to be an exact art. You can kind of just play with placing them. Okay, remove that cover. Press again, and this time we are gonna go for the full 15 seconds. There we go. Now, remove the protective covering. There we go. 
Now I'm going to cover again just to make sure everything is nice and stuck. And we'll heat it again for 15 seconds. There we go. Now we'll pull it off the press and I'll change the camera angle so you can see what it looks like. Look how cute that is completely finished. The colors are absolutely stunning and those little stars if you're out at night will give you a little bit of glow. Now remember, let me know what you think of the other this camera angle. Don't forget to check me out on all my social medias, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram as well as my second channel, which is Betsy Gocher, which is where we do all things makeup, our vlogs, all that kind of stuff. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and we will see you tomorrow.